everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to address another question and comment regarding migraine headaches. And today's episode is going to involve Botox. Now, the comment comes from somebody who has been using Botox for a few months and has something to share with us about her side effects. Unfortunately, sometimes a little too much Botox is used in specific muscles that can render them weak or useless for a few weeks. This can cause trouble swallowing or holding your head up. Now to address specifically what's going on, let's talk a little bit about Botox. So now Botox is not only used for wrinkles and other cosmetic procedures, but it's also used medicinally now for the treatment of migraine headaches, specifically chronic migraines, which are episodes that you get of 15 a month or more. Now, it is important to keep in mind that it may take several treatments or injections for it to work. And there are times that you have 31 different sites that are possible to prevent headaches. So there are small little injections in 31 sites. And you can have up to six months before you see any improvements or relief on your migraines. So how does Botox work? Now, Botox is purified from a specific form of Clostridium botulinum toxin. This bacteria used to cause paralysis because it will kill the nerves and therefore lead to paralysis and even death. Today, scientists have learned to purify the toxin and use just enough amount so it can stop the contraction of muscles, which could be used for certain muscular conditions. Now, in the theory of chronic migraines, because the vasodilation and constriction of blood vessels in the head can be triggered sometimes by muscle spasms, Botox can be used for those specific muscles so the botulinum toxin that is purified is used for the neuromuscular junctions of the muscles in the head and the neck to help avoid migraine attacks. Now the major side effect to keep in mind about Botox is just a sore neck after the day of injection or even after the injection itself. And it's recommended that you use a nice pack to help decrease the inflammation. Now, the person who gave us the comment about Botox and her side effects of her neck becoming so stiff and weak to the point that her head can't even hold up, and the fact that she's also is having problems swallowing, tells us that sometimes Botox can be used a bit too much and weaken our major muscles that could help us do our daily activities, such as swallowing and moving our neck around. And unfortunately, for those kinds of side effects, not much can be done, but just to wait until the nerves come back to life and then the muscles begin to contract again. Again, she's mentioned that it's there for a few weeks and it does come back later. Movement does come back. Therefore, that's why you're going to need more Botox injections later on. Now, if you think Botox might be a treatment that you might want to try, then please let your doctor know but also understand that there are plenty of other alternatives available nowadays for chronic migraines. And I just hope you find the one that you're looking for and fits best for you without giving you that many side effects. And it's also important to know that naturopathic medicine works managing your symptoms and on the other hand, provide better lifestyle modifications so the episodes of migraines start decreasing and you start taking more charge of your life. So I hope this video was helpful and you learned something today. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.